Today, I am moving to Las Vegas. Okay, I'm just kidding. You guys already know that I live here. But guys, I bought a house. It's true guys, I bought one, finally. I've been living in Las Vegas for 20 years now and I've lived all over the city. I've been here since I was a teenager and I can't say enough how lucky I feel to have been given the chance to grow up here and evolved into an adult. Las Vegas never has a dull moment and I always have the time in my life here. Oh, but yes, this video is about me moving and buying a house, so let's get back to that. All right guys. Taking off my shoes. Took some time, but we pointed out that tomorrow isn't here right now, baby. An absent mind came to roam around. Okay, so I came here with my inspector. Um, they're doing their thing while I'm just around roaming around. What? See it clear when the shadows are lit. I'm ready to go. Going upstairs. What do you guys think of the kitchen? This is really bright. Let's go look at my office. Guest bedroom. And it comes with washer dryer. Yes! Look at that. So many clean clothes, guys. So many clean clothes. Dude, check out these countertops. Oh, they're so pretty. No, seriously, guys. So much cabinets, so much cabinets. Oh my God, I can't wait to fill them up. And I get a balcony. Oh yeah, this balcony is way bigger. Dude, I could put like a couch, dining room set. I don't know, Yeah, <laughs> I could live out here. I am hiding right now uh, from everybody else because you know, we got inspectors all over the place. They're still doing other stuff. But, oh my God. <sighs> it's just crazy to see how I went from always having roommates to finally having a place on my own at the apartment and now having like a real place for myself, like a whole ass house, oh my god. Like I know it's three bedrooms, but I don't even know what the hell I'm gonna do with all three. So yeah, I definitely gotta make this house into my new home. I am not crying, shut up, you're crying. <laughs> Let's let them finish up and um, I think we should move in, right? Oh, well, hello. Welcome to my humble abode that will not be mine uh, very much longer. <laughs> so the reason that we're doing this right now is because, well, um, I know some of you have been kind of curious to see where I live. So I wanted to finally reveal the location I've been at for the past two years. So first things first, this is my kitchen, which I haven't really decorated <laughs> while I was here. Then this is my living room, which, oh my God, look at this. I mean, I did quite a good job right here. I did decorate a little bit more. I still have my editing desk. I had this little nook right here that sometimes I just love taking my phone calls right here and just hanging out and I did a little bit of decoration, just a little bit, but I mean, I'm still getting better. Just really quick, this is my bedroom over here, still not much decoration. This one's my bathroom right here, which I'm gonna miss this mirror oh so much. Oh my God, and this bathroom is so big. I loved it. I know it's not the cleanest right now, but it's okay. And then I had my, my Monica closet right here. Oh my Lord, don't look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's whatever I don't wanna show is in there. So once I show you guys the view, which I can't believe I had to basically refrain myself from showing you guys what my view was because then that was a dead giveaway of where I live. But I'm finally gonna show you guys the view. The moment you see it, you're gonna be like, I know where she lives. So let's go look. Ta-da! <laughs> So obviously, first things first, uh, right behind me, you guys can see, is the Rio, which if you guys haven't noticed or have seen on the news or anything or in videos, they now have lights, like what the heck? And they have like really pretty designs. I don't know, it's just really nice lights. And I'm like, dang, now that I'm moving out, now they put up lights. <laughs> you have to come look at this too. So um, 
this was my view right here. Of course, we got the 15 freeway right there. We have the Bellagio. You can see the Cosmopolitan, the Aria. Oh, those are the lovely sounds that I had to hear at night every single day. You got the Vajara, the Mandalay Bay, Luxor, Excalibur. I, I could even see Allegiant Stadium from right here. And then even at night, I was able to see such amazing sunsets. I mean, I could basically see Red Rock from right here. It's so nice. But yeah, I had to basically keep it a secret for all this time. I always enjoyed having this place. Now, before I reveal to you guys how much I paid, um, I do want to show you guys just a little bit about this building here and some of its amenities. So these are their hallways right here. What I always liked about these hallways is that you kind of feel like you're in a hotel. I don't know, like I'm walking down the Cosmopolitan right now or something. <laughs> just really quick because I know there's people in here, but there's a gym in here, which I only use a few times. And then really quick, they also do have a pool right here. Fun fact, I only use once and I used it because I needed to do a thumbnail. If you guys remember the how to beat the heat in the summer. Um, yeah, I took that picture right there in the freezing water. It was so cold, uh, but I, ha I had to get the thumbnail. And then I had my editor uh, edit the rest to kind of look like it was Mandalay Bay. So yeah, it's a nice pool though. Let's go back upstairs. Something that I really loved was that they have a trash valet here. So see how they have their trash cans right there? Between Sunday to Thursday, a person would come and pick up your trash from right there. Like I didn't have to like go downstairs to go throw it away. Like that was my favorite part. Probably one of the parts I'm definitely gonna miss. Then another fun part about this was the Sky Lounge. But look, this was just like a community area for all the guests to just come and hang out. And then we had such a good view of the strip right here. So whenever uh, I needed strip views uh, or certain B-rolls, I would just come out here and <laughs> get it from right there. But yeah, this was a really cool, oh, 95% of my thumbnail were taken right in here because this place has such good lighting. So I, I think I did really well for my thumbnails. Oh yes, and then the, uh, the train right there, that train uh, woke me up almost every time. But no, I'm just kidding. No. It was the train just passed by from there only when there was probably a, like the, when they would like honk the horn. Uh, if that's how you say it. That was the only time they would really w uh, wake me up. But yeah, this, there's a train track right there. Let's go back inside. Shoes off, please, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> So first things first, just so you guys know, I am not promoing them at all. I am literally just giving you this information just in case if you guys are curious of where I lived or if you were interested in trying to find a place. Um, but I am going to tell you both the pros and the cons about this place. But first things first. So I moved in here in May of 2022 and my rent, including like water and gas and all that other stuff combined that they add on, my last bill was $1,992, which is kind of a lot for a one bedroom, honestly but it is a really nice place. I mean, I believe this building was built in 2020. And then plus you're so close to the strip. Like I, that was one of the things for me of why I wanted to live here because I know if I live really far away, I personally would get lazy traveling back and forth to the strip because of all the videos I had to do. Um, the only cons I would say is that, and I hope this gets fixed. I'm not saying that I want them to keep having these problems, but I mean, sometimes our elevators kind of go on the, the, the fritz sometimes. Same with the gates around the community. Sometimes they'll just kind of like stop working. Because we are kind of close to the freeway, close to the strip, depending where you park, uh, there are mice in the area. Um, and they never went into my car, thankfully, but I had heard of like a neighbor or two that said that the mice went into to their cars and you know chewed up a few things that they probably shouldn't have yeah so those are pretty much really the only cons i would say this is not for everybody and the only reason i say this is because if you let's say don't have the ability to control let's say you're gambling being that close to the strip is really not doing you any favors because again this is las vegas we do have plenty of vices whether if it's you know drinking gambling i mean there's you know so much more out there so as long as you're able to like you know control yourself then i would say gucci do it but it is money that's what i will have to say about this place um yeah i'm definitely gonna miss it here i this was my home for pretty much two years and this was the first place that i lived by myself so to me that was like a really huge accomplishment uh, but now i'm moving somewhere that's gonna be all mine okay guys let's start packing <laughs> I don't want to do it. It's move out day. Say hi. Hello. 
Smoking all the greenery. Yeah. Close the match because they were handed down to me. But I'm still fly. I'm still fly. I know. I'm still fly. I'm still fly. Let's go. It could all be worse. I could be a hater like you. It could all be worse. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Had to bring in the big guns, as you can see. <laughs> I'm holding it against the wall. I'm young, I'm free. Can't nobody take me here. <sighs> That's tiring. And now, it's my time to run it out. It's my time, it's my time, it's That's it, guys. Okay, uh, let's go to the next house. Oh, oh my god. Guys, moving is no joke. Oh, wait. That's what I need right now. Woo! Oh yeah, I feel so much better now. If you guys haven't heard, Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix. When you're deficient in electrolytes, you can get symptoms like headaches, cramps, fatigue, and weakness. I have no time to be feeling like that, especially with all this moving I have to do. It has everything that you need and nothing you don't, so that means no sugar, coloring, artificial ingredients, gluten, or fillers. So it's great if you're following a keto, low carb, or paleo diet. Electrolytes are a key component of healthy hydration. So when your electrolyte levels are dialed in, it helps you keep your skin hydrated, regulates digestion, and get better sleep. It's great for everyone and it's delicious. It tastes like you're having a no sugar margarita. Which speaking of drinking, Element can also help treat and prevent hangovers. So it's definitely a Vegas must have. So if you want to give it a try, just go on to drinkelement.com slash jelly or click my link down below. And when you make a purchase using my link, you'll get a free Element sample pack that includes one packet of every flavor. So you can discover your favorite flavor. You can use this offer whether if you're new or a returning customer. And you can try it totally risk free. If you don't like it, you'll get your money back. No questions asked. Okay, back to moving. Come on in. Wait, oh wait, shoes off. <laughs> Guys, welcome to my crib. All right, so I'm gonna give you a tour here. I'm uh, gonna make it kind of like, you know, architectural digest. Um, just so that you know, right now, um, this house is like backwards, upside down. You, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> First things first, we have my bedroom. So yes, the bedroom is downstairs. It's way bigger, <laughs> definitely, than my last apartment. Well, not last apartment, because it's a house now. <laughs> so honestly, the design didn't really change. I mean, I still have all the same things. I mean, I have the same bed, the same end tables, my same side chair. The only thing that did change is um, I have a bigger TV in my bedroom now. 55 inch that was in my living room now is in my bedroom. Yeah, I really do like how this bedroom down here has a lot of light because not only do we have these two windows right here, we also have two on the side over here. So that definitely brings in a lot more light. Show you my bathroom. I'm not gonna lie guys, this bathroom is a little small um, for being the main bathroom, I guess you could say, but I've made it work. You guys know I'm a very minimal person, so I only have like my trash, my squatty potty. I do have a stand and shower with two glasses. And then I have it's like a walk-in closet, it just doesn't have a door. But that's okay. So of course, since now I do have a lot more closet space, I don't have the Monica closet anymore. Yeah, so down here is really just the clothes that I use on the regular. Um, and then most of the other stuff, I just kind of put in the other closets in the house. Let's go upstairs. And welcome to my upstairs. So yeah, this is like one of those houses where the living room is upstairs. But guys, check out my living room. I freaking love this living room right here. I feel like it's so huge and so many windows. <gasps> so many windows. 
Those stairs, I swear. <laughs> so yes, I did end up getting a brand new couch right here. That way I have so many different ways of taking naps. <laughs> so yeah, I got this couch off of Living Spaces. Um, I still have my old coffee table. Still have my old little blue chair as well. Um, I might have to change these just because honestly, they're kind of wobbly. Oh, and then I did end up getting a bigger TV for up here. So this is gonna be a 65 inch, also LG. I think it's really nice. I think it looks really good. And guys, I love my kitchen. I've already cooked here so many times. Oh my God, I've baked and everything. I do have an electric burner, which that's okay, not a deal breaker. <laughs> I do like the microwave, check this out. So I hit open. <laughs> and then it has like more options here. I don't know. I've never seen anything like this, so I'm like super impressed. Ugh. And this one is a little different. Now this is freezer on that side, fridge on that side. Definitely stocked with all the healthy stuff. So this is the spare room right now. Um, I really don't know what to do with it just yet. I mean, I know the obvious answer is to make it into a guest room, which I probably will, but I kind of want like a second use to it. And the only reason I haven't decorated or decided yet is because I want to take my time. Like this is like my house now and I want to be able to make it into whatever I want to make it. And I'm not going to decide that in a few weeks. Like, so give me time. I will do something with this, this space right here. Not sure yet, but we shall see. And I will say, if you do want to find out what I do with it, um, watch my second channel because that's a little bit more like a day in the life, what it is to live here in Las Vegas. So I will definitely put a lot more details in that channel. And just as the process goes, I'll definitely feature it there. Guys, a whole room for my office. Ah! If you guys remember, I used to have a tiny little section in my apartment where I just had a little desk and that was literally it. <laughs> so now I have a whole room right here. I got one of those lift up desks, let's see. And I built this all by myself, guys. I am so proud of me. <laughs> I do still have my couch that I had in my apartment. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, get rid of it. I'm not sure, but it's here for now. I do have, it's not super organized yet, but this is now like my new camera gear storage area. I really like it. Again, not super organized. We will, but it's all gonna be in here. Love it. Another bathroom, which I do plan to finally take some baths here. I didn't have a bathtub the last time, but I do here now. Just gotta get a curtain. That's about it. So this is where all the guests will be squatting. <laughs> so again, this was my house. Um, I really like it. It's not finished yet, of course, because I still have more to add, but I mean, I think I'll kind of keep the design because I do like to think of a minimalist, so I'm not gonna like bunch it up in here. Door open, it announced my arrival. <laughs> that means I can never sneak in in your sleep. It smells very new. Okay, I'm gonna start snooping. Oh, this is the laundry. Nice. Oh, the closet is bigger than your other one. Nice. I can't believe that you've already arranged everything so quickly. I see that this hasn't quite turned into your Monica closet yet. No, this, I don't have a Monica closet. You don't have a Monica closet. Everything is arranged and neat and tidy. Is that your towel warmer? Okay, nice. Nice lighting in here, by the way, for your makeup. Really nice. The carpet is so plush. Wow, we've got windows everywhere, dude. That's so nice. So much space in here. Dang, this is huge. Oh my goodness, this is a high ceiling. Whoa, I can live my best tall girl life in here. Whoa, how cute. This is even more nicely lit than your apartment was. Holy cow, your kitchen's huge. Dang. You're really gonna get your cooking life on. Are you gonna be just like your apartment and not have a single thing out on the counters or anything? Most likely, yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, I like the color of these cabinets too. The dark wood. Is there anything in here yet? Oh, there is stuff that, in here. That's my alcohol cabinet. <laughs> no, <laughs> not my alcohol cups cabinet. <laughs> I like that I immediately gravitated towards the alcohol cabinet. Dang, double doors. Bougie, bougie, anything in here? Dang, you're ready. The couch looks awesome. What the heck? Oh, oh. All I need is a comfy bank blanket. Right there. And right here. Nice, 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 love. Okay, what's in here? Wait, 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 no. That's Richard's room. He doesn't like it. Okay, I'll leave him to it. Can I open this one? Oh, wow, all the snacks. This is too healthy for me. 
This is too healthy for me. Okay, this must be future office. Future guest bedroom, guest, something. I don't know. Okay, we haven't determined yet. Dang. I can't get over how tall these ceilings are in here too. They are actually. Aren't they really tall? I mean, for me, anything's tall. <laughs> this is a little bit of a Monica closet, uh, this baby. Is, yeah, this is the stuff I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of yet or not. This is your Barbie stuff. Oh, that's awesome. I recognize this from a video too. And this. This is all your video, this is your yeah. video props closet. Okay, this is office. Dang, this is so much better of an editing area. Now that you have a full room, a full office, this is the first time you've had a dedicated office room. Wow, okay, bathroom with a tub. We love a tub. Have you already determined if it's a Norma size yet? Everything is a Norma size. <laughs> let's see if it's Lydia size. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Yep, I can fully stretch out. Lydia approved. I'll move into this bedroom right here. <laughs> but yeah, I can't thank you guys enough because honestly, this is kind of like full circle for me. I mean, when I started my YouTube journey, I was basically in that little green room that I was like so tiny. Then I moved into my friend's condo. Then I moved out, had my very own place over at Jade. Freaking love that apartment. I really did. Um, so it was a little hard for me to leave it. But now that everything's like here and set up, like I love it. I really do love this place. But yeah, this is honestly thanks to you guys. Thanks for watching my videos, subscribing, just indulging in any content that I put out there. And then also thank you to everybody that did help me move to help me build furniture and just, which also I built a lot of it by myself too. So again, I'm really proud of myself for that. And also please do stay tuned so that way you can see how I build this house into a home. So as always guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends and comment below. Um, what do you think of my new crib? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Hello there. Welcome to my humble, my humble abode. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? Uh, still haven't really decorated much in here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, haha. Other way. <laughs> but I mean, it is a really nice place. But I think. <laughs> I see dirty underwear. Okay, we'll come back there later. I'll come back there later. Oh my gosh, we're ready. <laughs> Ow! Damn it, I just broke a nail. Ooh. Whatever. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like this video. No. Like, thank you so much for give this video likes. Huh. How can I forget my own ending? <laughs>